All right, now we're good. Coach, uh, just, just the last scrimmage in, in your perspective after after two hard weeks of practice? We've had a good camp. Uh, obviously, you know, got a couple guys dinged up today, but nothing serious. That's obviously encouraging. And that was our big thing. We wanted to get out of here today healthy. But these kids got the right attitude. That's encouraging. I'm excited about where we are. We've got two weeks till we play Penn State. Uh, I think we're getting better on defense. Uh, that's significant. And, you know, we got some sacks today. We pressured the quarterback. When we don't pressure the quarterback, we throw the ball. When we, when we pressure the quarterback, it puts us in third and long, and, and you know, we play behind the chains. And we're not a good enough offense to play behind the chains. Was, was there enough improvement on the defensive side for you to walk away feeling? I feel awesome? my, yeah, I feel better. You know, we got young guys in there getting, you know, getting reps, but we're getting more pressure on the quarterback, and that's where it starts. And then our secondary doesn't get as exposed. But I feel good about where we are. I like to see us do a little bit better on third and short. But other than that. Pretty good day. Good offense. I mean, you guys were moving the ball at some highlight plays. Yep. I mean, Got pr did a pretty good job coming out of the end zone. You know, we put the ball down there in the minus one, and our goal is offense get two first downs, and uh, we ripped some off there. And some of those third and shorts, we ripped off some big plays. So those are things that are all correctable, but that's a compliment to our line and our, and our running backs, obviously. Yeah, the touch on the running backs, because every guy that touched the ball <laughs> seemed like he did something positive. Well, those guys, those guys are good football players, you know, and they're good kids, they're good people. And they're, and they're freshmen and, and, and sophomores. So that's a sign of good things to come. Is it surprising? Uh, no. You know, we, we, when we recruited them, we knew they were pretty good players. And uh, I think the competition there has made Cookie better. So, you know, and, and Torian better. So we got we got five five guys back there we feel pretty dang good about, and that's a good start. Eric, how does next week change with school start and all that? Well, keeping focus. You know, uh, I talked about it just now with these guys. Is keeping these kids focused on getting better every day. We got to have a good week in practice because we, there's some things we got to shore up. We're getting into Penn State. Obviously, we're going to get in the scout report, start simulating Penn State, so we can be ready to play. And then, you know, we have to talk about the emotions of this game. You know, they're going to be sky high. Uh, I, I anticipate them being sky high, and you know, you can almost be too high three hours before a game, and then you're already fatigued before you, the ball even kicks off. So. There's a preparation that needs to take place, and that's something we'll have to talk about when we deal with when we talk when, when the time's right. When you say changes need, you know, the changes you need to make or the things you need to work on, what are those things? That well, we still have some missed tackles. We need to be better on third and short. Offensively, we need to be better, better on third and long. Uh, you know, special teams, we're trying to continue to shore those things up. Punting game looked good today. Kickoff return looked good today. Punt return a little bit disappointed in. And we'll tweak that tomorrow and make some final decisions. Two weeks ago, you said, you know, you hope to get through the, the summer camp, you know, stronger you want to be. Do you feel where you, that's where you, you are now? I would obviously like to be a little bit better, but I feel good about where we are. I feel, I feel good about where we're headed. And, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how we line up and match up. Positions are solidified? Uh, getting pretty close. You know, I feel pretty good about uh, what we're doing, you know, as the majority of the offensive positions there. A couple still on defense probably need to be short up. And then uh, a couple special teams positions we need to get squared away. We had our captains, you know, we voted for captains uh, this morning. So we got Torrance Nicholson, Brady and Ross on offense. We got Rodemeyer and Barnes. You know, uh, you couldn't select four better guys to represent our football team. And I told them today that leading this football team uh, is a 24 hour job. You don't just lead them out here at practice. You just don't lead them in the games. You need to lead them off the field and make sure we're doing all the right things we need to do so we can be the football team that everyone expects us to be. When you look at this camp, I mean, who are the, maybe the three or four guys you said that they defined this camp, they had the best camp? Uh, I think, you know, Ross had a great camp. Dominic Barnes had an outstanding camp. Uh, I think Kurt Hess did some good things. You know, at first he was a little bit shaky there. I think he was feeling the pressure, but uh, stepped up and did some good things. Uh, those are probably the three guys of the returners right there that significantly stepped up. Uh, Meadows stepped up. He did some better things there. So I feel a little bit better about some of those guys. And, you know, we're, we're a work in progress, but we're going we're gonna to make it happen. Is Nigel getting better every day? Yes. He had, you know, he had a good two-minute drill there, leading, bringing the ball down the field. and It's a comfort zone. Uh, but, you know, he's just not quite sure of exactly everything we're throwing out at one time. The defense is doing a lot of things, giving them different looks. But in order to in order to be successful out here, you got about to play fast. And you don't have time to think when when the ball snaps. I mean, this safety goes there, we go here. This, you know, it's it's got to be like that. And it's not there right now. But those other guys have had a spring ball ahead of them. Is it safe to say, Kurt? 
won the job. Yeah, Kurt, Kurt will be our guy, and you know, if he starts struggling, we'll put Kinnett's in there. But I feel good about those guys. You know, uh, if we if we started Kinnett's guy, I'd feel good about that too. But right now, we'll we'll give Kurt the, the handoff and see what happens. Cook, uh, Cook will be starting up there, and, and he knows he's got he's got some guys behind him that he needs to take care of the football and run the ball north and south. And you know, I like dancing a little bit, but you better be dancing in the end zone. <laughs> Thanks, coach.